We just finished installing our Spanko workstation crane, and now we have like a proper mech bay at the fortress. We're going to be assembling the robot from the bottom up. Instead of just having everything on top of a big tower, we're actually going to be stacking big heavy pieces. We have this wireless remote that will allow us to move, maneuver the crane without having a big long tethered control hanging around north, south, and then west, east for the trolley in the middle, and of course, up and down for the hoist. So these two motors that we have, they operate at specific RPM at 60 hertz. If we want to run it slower though, that's the slow speed, and it's only operating at 30 hertz. It ramps up very slowly, because if we're lifting 4,000 pounds of load into the air, we don't want it to move and accelerate real suddenly, which it would do if we didn't have these variable frequency drives to gradually move the motor back and forth. And the nice thing is if we mash the button all the way down, it moves at the full speed. Nothing on the legs weigh less than 300 pounds. And so we're gonna need, you know, not necessarily a crane with this kind of capacity, but it's big stuff. And being able to manipulate the, those pieces with, you know, a wireless control and hold them under control while people have their one hand on the, on the assembly and one hand on the crane remote even that's a little bit safer. Also, having all this vertical lift capacity is really helpful because when we use our little dolly cranes that we've been using, it's pretty cumbersome. And this is just super natural. We turn the crane on and we're lifting big things. And it happens real quickly and it's no problem.